Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. We're here today for a tarot love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to pull some tarot cards and some oracle cards to see what is coming towards you in your love life right now. This is a timeless tarot reading and I do invite you to take what works Leo and just leave anything that doesn't quite fit for you in your circumstances. Let's jump right in. What's coming toward Leo right now? What's coming toward Leo in their love life? All right. Five of Swords, King of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So there is some sort of situation here that is causing you conflict. And I think that the two of you, whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're having this conflict with, Leo, you guys need to have a really, really open and honest discussion about what's going on in your relationship. I think there's a big conversation that needs to happen because it looks like there's been conflict and tension. And because of that, the relationship between the two of you is not really moving forward at this point in time. It looks like things are stagnant. It looks like things are not really progressing. And so somebody here is agitating you. They're definitely like pushing your buttons there with that five of swords energy. And I feel like the two of you need to have a conversation about what is going on. You're kind of stuck in this negative energy right now. Tell me what this conflict is with the five of swords. Ooh, three of swords, seven of pentacles, six of swords. You might feel like this person is not pulling their weight within this connection, Leo. That could be the issue. You might feel like they're not pulling your weight, uh, their weight and you might be wondering whether or not you still want to continue to invest in this relationship. I do think you're thinking of potentially walking away here with this three of swords and the six of swords energy. And so if you're resonating with this message, I feel like you could be at a pivotal moment in a connection where the two of you are trying to decide, what do we do? Are we in? Can we fix this conflict? Can we move past this? Or are we out? Is this not working anymore? I think there's potentially a big truth that needs to be revealed. And I honestly get the sense that you're just sick and tired of fighting. I don't think you want to fight with this person anymore, Leo. I think you want to move past the stress and the conflict. And I think it's just been really frustrating. I feel a lot of frustration here. Tell me about Leo's person. So tell me about the person that Leo's having conflict with. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, and the Devil card. I feel like their desire here is to work through this. I think that if you're open to it, this person would like to resolve this issue. They can see that the two of you have been stuck in this toxic cycle, but with the three of pentacles, I do think that they are committed to wanting to move past this. They could even be suggesting that you guys go to counseling. They want to talk because they're showing up with that queen of swords energy, right? They know that you guys need to have an important conversation. They know that you need to lay this out on the line. They have a lot of feelings for you with that King of Cups energy. So I think they're not wanting to just cut and run. I do think that if you are open to it, this person is wanting to try to get unstuck from this toxic cycle that you've been in. And I'm also hearing harsh words were said. So you or this person could have said harsh things to each other in the heat of the moment. It does just kind of feel like things have maybe turned a little bit nasty within the relationship. Temper, um, tempers have flared, things were said, feelings were hurt, and now you guys are stuck in this really kind of toxic fighting energy. But I do think that your person is wanting to try to fix this. They're wanting to try to move through it. Tell me about Leo. Tell me about uh, Leo right now. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Four of Cups. Let's take four cards and the sun. This is interesting, Leo. Like, I'm feeling actually that both of you want to work through this issue, right? So here's what we've got showing up for you. I do think that you feel a very deep connection with this person because we have the soulmate card. But I do think that you're like, I just can't fight anymore. Like, I can't fight. I can't be in this conflict. 
you want to get back to that place of stability and love and happiness in the relationship. And I think you're at this place where you're wondering if you walked away, would this be a big missed opportunity? So I think at this point, you feel that if you were to walk away, you might be letting go of something that could potentially be really good if you guys are able to work through these issues. So I do see both of you showing up as wanting to work through these challenges. Let's pull one card for Leo's person here. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. They might feel like you've been withdrawing from this connection here, Leo. I'm picking up on them feeling hurt that you've pulled back. And I, I this makes sense to me. Like if you guys have been fighting and having conflict, I think it almost feels self-protective. Like you've been pulling back your energy because you've started to question the relationship. So you're not investing in the same way as you used to. And I think they're feeling hurt about that. Give me one card for Leo. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. It's like you want to try and get the spark back in the relationship. You want to try and see if you guys can get back on track. I feel pain. I feel like, like both of you have maybe said things that have hurt the other person, done things that hurt the other person, but I still feel there is a desire here for both of you to work through this. Let's get two cards, one for Leo's person, one for Leo. Leo's person, please. New life, they want a fresh start. They want they want a do-over here, right? One card for Leo. Regeneration. Guys, you don't want to walk away from this. You're not done. You don't want to walk away from this. Your person doesn't want to walk away from this. You don't want to walk away from this. You want to rebuild. Both of you have this energy of wanting to rebuild this connection and to get things back to the way they were. And I think with that regeneration energy, you're also kind of hoping that the two of you will come out of this even stronger than before. Okay. One card for Leo's person, one card for Leo. Perseverance for your person. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. They're very, very motivated to fix this issue, Leo. They are incredibly motivated to fix this issue. They're willing to put in the hard work to fix this, okay? As long as you let them, they're gonna persevere to try to get back to the way things were before. One card for Leo. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well being. So it looks like you're taking accountability for the role that you had to play in this circumstance, Leo. I do actually feel like both of you are taking ownership of what has happened here within this connection. I do feel like there's still a lot of love between the two of you, but these two cards here from the Soul's Journey Oracle really show me that the two of you want to persist within this connection. You want to make it work. Yeah, you're taking responsibility and accountability for each of your roles to play, particularly you. Yeah, you guys want to work this out. You don't want to walk away. What's the advice? One more. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, Knight of Swords. You guys just need to like get unstuck from whatever this fight and conflict is. And I don't mean that to sound like really simplistic because I think, you know, this, this is a big conflict. You're both quite frustrated. But the first card that I pulled was the Eight of Swords and then it's followed by the Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords. It's like, you guys just need to get unstuck from whatever this issue is. How do they do that? How, how does Leo and this person get unstuck? Six of Wands, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. You focus on the love, you guys. You focus on the love that the two of you have. You focus on moving forward. You focus on the future that you're building together and the vision of that future that you're building together. Bring love into this situation, okay? I know I have an Oracle deck with that message on it somewhere and it's coming to mind. Focus on the love. Don't focus on the problem. Remember the good times, you know? Sometimes, like I read this one time where they're like, if you're feeling, the person whoever wrote it was like, if you're feeling really 
frustrated with your person and agitated every day, you know, wake up and write down five things that you love about that person completely shifts your mindset, right? So I feel like that's potentially the advice here for you guys, right? It's just like focus on that love and focus on that connection. Move it forward. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome? Five of Pentacles, the Fool and the Empress. I think you guys get back on track, okay? I do think there's going to be a moment of fear where you guys worry that maybe things are not going to work out. And that is followed by a new beginning where the love really flows between the two of you. So I think you're going to push past these tough times and these challenges. And what you're being invited to embark on here is a brand new beginning. Again, I just see a lot of love between you guys. I feel like maybe part of the issue here for either you or your person is that there's some fears of abandonment that pop up within this relationship. And maybe that's what caused some problems. Maybe... Maybe there was some insecurity here with you and somebody and like you or your person. And then those insecurities started to impact the relationship. But again, if you guys are taking ownership for these issues and taking ownership for these problems, I do see the outcome here potentially being something that makes you really happy. It is going to be a fresh start. It's going to be a new beginning. You guys just kind of have to take a leap of faith on each other and trust that you've got something good here. But what I see is two people who are not done. Like if this reading is resonating with you, Leo, I don't think you or your person are done. Sometimes when I do this reading, it's like these readings, you can see like one person has checked out. Maybe both people have checked out. I don't see that in the cards today. I see two people who are still trying their hardest to make it work. So I feel like it's step by step, focus on the love and focus on this like new life, this new fresh start that the two of you are building together. And whatever this Five of Swords is, I've got to say as well, this is not a major arcana, you guys. This is a little minor arcana. And that's the thing. It's like, whatever you're fighting about, I kind of feel like years down the road, you might look back and be like, that didn't even, it wasn't even like a huge deal, but it feels like it's a huge deal right now because it's front and center in your relationship. But if you guys can move past that, I think that there's still a lot of potential here. And it really just points out that there is something to be said about your commitment to making a relationship work. If you have two people, and I'm not talking about a toxic, unhealthy relationship, to be clear, okay? I don't think everyone should stay in every situation. I'm not talking about abusive situations here, guys. That's a very different situation. But assuming there's none of that stuff going on, I think there's something that can really be said here about two people who are committed to making it work, right? If you've got two people who are still here, still in it, and still showing up, there could be something here. I could see you guys potentially moving past this, but it's going to take some work. But I don't think you guys, I don't think you're concerned about that. I think as of right now, you're both still in it. So, okay, I'm going to leave it there for you. If you enjoyed this reading, Leo, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Uh, share this channel with your friends, your family. I'm kind of newer here trying to grow this Leo channel for you guys. So if you like what you see, uh, definitely show me the love and the support. And I wish you guys so much love and happiness. We'll talk again very, very soon, my lovely lions. Take care.